The chapel, as you can see, is well underway and it's a great time to see the building because a lot of the things that are going to be concealed and totally enclosed are all exposed now from the steel framing to the connections and the ductwork and the stud framing and the wiring and electrical, so we're watching all of those critical infrastructure components come together. You're starting to see the, the shape of the space is very clear, the high vault. Uh, the steeply pitched ceiling, the arches being framed out here at every bay um, that are going to help frame the focus towards the central arch where the uh, platform will be in. There will be nanowall windows that will essentially be doors that op can open to the exterior. So that was one of Mr. Ricketts' main ideas that he, he wanted to, to really engage the site uh, and bring the experience of the site into the chapel. The exterior is moving along quite well. Um, the masons are finishing really the, the west end of the building in terms of the stonework. It's an Indiana limestone. There's all these textures and sizes that come together to compose the wall. There's just a great deal of coordination going on between MCL and Leo Daly and our architects and engineers from the woodworking to the stonework, the drywall details and the flooring details and everything coming together. To be able to design the chapel at the Cloisters on the Platts is just a tremendous privilege and from the start it was set to be the focal point of the site. Because it's, it's such a detailed, special place, I know there's just a higher level of awareness and scrutiny really of just to make sure everything is as good as it can be. It's busy and hopping right now with a lot of noise, but uh, it's all going to settle down and become a very quiet, prayerful place that's going to, I think, draw people's hearts towards God. It's going to be awesome. So.